Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the Magia Control Center. So basically, we are going to check out the functionality, the features of Magia Control Center and check out how it helps us to control the system. So it is made up of sections like software management, hardware, network and internet, system, network sharing, local disk, security and boot. And on the top, you have got the file menu options. So you can also display the logs. Let us check out. So uh, the package system log demo needs to be installed. So do you want to install it? Yes. So that will give us the option to check out the system logs also using the Magia Control Center. So the package installation will take time and maybe will require a reboot to make it work. So what we will do, we will just check out uh, small sections. So every in every video, we will check out one of the sections of Magia Control Center. So the first section to be checked today will be the software management. Next video, we will do the hardware and network and uh, network and internet and so forth. We will check out and in the finally, we will also check out the system logs also. So that will give us an idea how much control the user can have on the system using the Magia control center. So let it uh, download. Meanwhile, we can start with the software management section. Let us click on install and remove software. So this is nothing but opening, I think the DNF uh, software center. Let us check out. Yes, so it is opening the RPM break uh, software manager. So there is also DNF driver. So it is opening up the RPM break manager and we have already checked this out. So it is uh, made of different sections of uh, packages. So the packages are arranged in sections or we can say groups like accessibility, archiving, communication, database, development, documentation. So these are all the groups that it is arranged into and development. For example, here is also arranged in subgroups. Each subgroup belongs to one programming language for the database. You can see here. These are all programming languages. Then there is a separate section for tools and the X11 server. So I already shown you the functionality in the earlier videos. So I'm not going to go in detail here. Then this is the update section. So could not. Okay. So I think the installation is going on or what let us check let us minimize and check okay so i think the r system log has already been installed and now uh, the updates going on let us see if the updates finish meanwhile what we can do is we can go ahead let us see if we can go ahead or we are just uh, hanged out we'll have to wait for the updates to complete so the Magia control center is not responsive. So I think we will have to wait for the updates to finish. So let us wait. Anyway, we cannot do anything. So here you can see the updates are available. Some of the updates are there for the glibc. That is the GNU library C. C library has got update. RPM uh, library for the 64 bit has got update. Python has got update. RPM package management system has got update. The RPM plugin system log has got uh, update and the RPM plugin system D inhibit has got update. So let us update the system. Let us see how the updates get applied.
so there is uh, the installation is complete and some configuration files were created as rpm new or rpm save so you may inspect some in order to take action so if you remember this same menu this same uh, uh, comes up i think uh, in uh, fedora and open susa also if i don't uh, exactly remember but i have seen this uh, message coming up so there also you get the option to inspect so I think it, it is there in Fedora and open SUSE. So keep this in mind and you can inspect. For example, if you click here, you can inspect what has changed. So this is the change. So the file has changed. So the installation of the update has created a new configuration file. So uh, mac macros file has changed and, and the new macros.rpm uh, new file has been created in the etc rpm folder. So you have to keep uh, watch on this and you learn more about the system so you have to do nothing and press ok so that's it and you require to restart your computer for the glibc that is the c uh, library yes i don't know why it is going and updating again I think there will be no updates. Okay, so I think we can quit. Yes, that's it. So now let us configure the update frequency. So here you can see how here you can configure the updates applet. Uh, it's again installing the RCS log. I don't know why it has happened. Tool to monitor. Okay, no such file or directory. While opening uh, var log explanations log file, no such file. So you have to say just quit and you quit, and in, after the reboot, the things will be okay. Here you can configure the updates up, applet. So update frequency in hours and first delay check. So delay check is after the five minutes, and the update frequency is every three hours. Uh, the system will check for updates. You can go and uh, change it. You can have after every 24 hours and first uh, check delay 5 minutes let us move it and let us make it 15 minutes so that system is uh, stable and all the services are already uh, started so all services which have been put on the startup applications uh, configuration so all uh, auto start updates uh, auto auto start applications will start within first 15 minutes and the system will totally stabilize and then only you can start the uh, search for the newer Magia releases. So that is 15 minutes is good. And now you have to click here. And on the top you can see here, the options are there. Here also the display logs option is there. So file menu remains the same for all the items in the Magia control center. Now this can configure media sources for... Uh, so I have shown you earlier how to uh, select the repos and then you have to write the repos repo configuration to the repo configuration file so we already selected uh, some of the repos tented repos we have selected if you remember when we installed uh, the this uh, audio video codex uh, tented audio audio codex using the uh, this uh, where we did that uh, i think uh, Magia control center no it was what it was just let me go and I will tell you yes in the welcome app we have done that so in welcome app you can install those tented audio video codex and that we are done using this so it opened up this uh, configuration for the media sources and then we selected the tented updates you can see here core 32 bit updates tented updates we selected and tented 32 bit updates so tented two uh, repos we selected for installation that's okay so we have completed the software management uh, section of magia control center meet you in the next video where we'll check out the hardware section bye bye